Hello everyone, welcome back to another session on dentistry and more. Today we have yet another confusing topic that is herpes simplex and herpes zoster. So they both belong to the same group of virus that is herpes simplex virus but both are entirely different diseases and their clinical presentation is also different. So let's see what is exactly herpes simplex and herpes zoster disease. So herpes viruses, so herpes viruses causing many diseases and one among, one among the disease is herpes simplex and another one is herpes zoster. So before moving on to these two diseases, let's see what are the viruses in herpes viridae family. So herpes simplex virus, it has basically eight types. So herpes simplex 1, herpes simplex 2, the other viruses are also known as human herpes virus 3, human herpes virus 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So the herpes simplex virus 1 and 2 are causing this disease that is herpes simplex. The one is causing oral lesion and the two is causing genital lesions. The herpes virus that is a category 3, the human herpes virus it's also known as varicella zoster virus which causes actually herpes zoster or chicken pox virus or it is uh, also known as shingles virus now human herpes virus 4 so don't get confused herpes simplex virus is also known as human herpes virus hsv or hhv so human herpes virus 4 is epstein barr virus which causing infectious mononucleosis or also known as kissing disease human herpes virus 5 which is cytomegalovirus which is also ca causing mononucleosis human herpes virus 6 is causing roseola the 7 one 7 also causing roseola and human herpes virus 8 which is causing kaposis sarcoma so these are the classification of herpes simplex virus now we'll move on to the herpes simplex so herpes simplex is a disease and herpes simplex virus is a virus so hsv is a virus and herpes simplex in short we call it for the disease it is also known as cold sore and fever blisters so question might come either as herpes simplex or cold sore or fever blister so this is caused by two viruses that is hsv1 and hsv2 so hsv1 that is herpes simplex virus 1 basically causing above waist lesions that is oral lesions it is also known as oral herpes whereas the hsv2 which is causing genital lesions known as genital herpes so herpes simplex this is caused by HSV1 and HSV2. So these lesions are blisters which appear in groups, also known as cold sore or fever blisters, which is usually healed within two to four weeks. So basically it starts with tingling or shooting pain before the blister erupts and which spreads by direct contact by body fluids so what happens is when the virus transported along sensory nerves it resides in the nerve cell bodies so it remain latent in the nerve cell bodies to an very extended period sometimes recurrence occur due to decreased immunity or stress or sunlight the recurrence may occur because the virus is, is latent remains present in the nerve cell bodies so even if if it is cured the nerve the presence of viruses is there in the nerve cell bodies so any time it can cause a relapse or recurrence but it is mostly seen people with low immunity and people with stress and sunlight also is a 
triggering factor so that is the pathology once it is uh, cured the virus will not be eliminated from the body completely it is traveling through the nerves and it reside in the nerve cell bodies so we can easily identify the disease by viral culture that viral culture that is used for diagnosis so actually there is uh, no particular treatment for herpes simplex only symptomatic treatment we use paracetamol or topical uh, lignocaine for the skin uh, lesions just to alleviate the pain there are other lesions which is causing by herpes simplex that is herpetic white low herpetic uh, encephalitis herpetic gladiator so herpetic white low is seen on the um, hands uh, herpes encephalitis is the brain lesions so that is all about herpes simplex so it is a herpes viruses 1 and 2 causing diseases blisters basically either oral lesions or genital lesions this is above waist and this is below waist it is also known as cold sore or fever blisters so it will not be eliminated from body it will reside in nerve cell bodies and it might recur due to the low immunity stress or sunlight so that is herpes simplex it is a disease and herpes simplex virus it is a virus which is causing it has eight classification now let's move on to herpes zoster so in the classification we have seen it is caused by the third category of virus varicella zoster virus which is actually the virus which causing chicken pox so this is a chicken pox virus and what happens is in shingles a person with chicken pox infection in previous time will get this disease that is shingles shingles is a reactivation of chicken pox latent virus which is present in the nervous system so once the patient has cured from chicken pox similarly what we seen in herpes simplex the virus will reside in the nervous system so this is a reactivation of varicella zoster virus so after the curing of chicken pox again this reactivation occur and the disease starts mostly it has red skin rashes which is with pain and burning sensation and the most striking feature of herpes zoster is it is always unilateral only one side of the body is affected either it is face neck or torso it affects only one side of the bo body because it is following the nerve pathway so it is unilateral always and the common uh, other symptoms are fever chills fatigue uh, muscle weakness and it is similarly a uh, herpes similar to herpes simplex it also spreads by contact lesion contact and we can give some pat symptomatic treatment or antiviral medications for herpes zoster it is also known as shingles okay the herpes simplex is cold sore or fever blister so this is a third category or chicken pox virus or varicella zoster virus causing this disease but it is a reactivation of the latent viruses residing in the nervous system so we have one more syndrome that is very famous one that is ramsay hunt syndrome it is coming in herpes zoster this is also very important just like herpes simplex herpes zoster ramsay hunt syndrome when the herpes zoster so i told you it affects the nerve uh, nerves and its branches wherever the no nerve uh, runs all the blisters are forming along the pathway so when the herpes zoster infection uh, reactivates and it affects especially the cranial nerve 7 and 8 that is facial nerve and auditory nerve it is known as ramsay hunt syndrome so when it affects facial nerve there will be facial paralysis there will be change in the face and if it is affecting auditory nerve there will be hearing loss facial nerve supplies Uh, anterior two third and soft palate, and the face. So all these areas will be affected, and there will be paralyzed unilateral paralysis will be there. So the mouth will be deviated to that side, and loss of taste, vertigo, uh, 
the change in the ulcer in pinna and many other problems associated with cranial nerves 7 and 8. So when this herpes zoster affects the cranial nerve 7 and 8 that is facial nerve and auditory nerve which is known as Ramsey Hunt syndrome it was reported by scientist Ramsey. So that is a very important question Ramsey Hunt syndrome or just a Hunt syndrome okay. So we have learned basically three questions here one is herpes simplex, herpes zoster and Ramsey Hunt syndrome. The question may come as cold sore, fever blister or shingles. So basic thing is this is a common virus that is herpes simplex virus. The category 1 and 2 causing this one category 3 is causing herpes zoster. So hope you understood this well and clear. I will come up with a new session on the industry and more. Thank you.